Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, exponential equation 7 power x uh, plus 49 power x uh, plus 343 power x uh, equals to 155. And now we are going to solve this one. In other words, uh, we are going to find the x value where x are our real numbers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first uh, step. Uh, let's uh, focus on this uh, 49, 49 could be written as 7 power 2 and likewise 343 could be written as 7 power 3. So therefore our equation is going to become 7 power x plus 7 power 2 whole power x plus 7 power 3 whole power x equals to 100 and 55 and now let's recall uh, power rule if we have x power m uh, and then another power n in other words nested exponent then this could be written as uh, x power m times n and this uh, in turn could be written as x power n power m so therefore uh, we can tweak uh, this part uh, this could be written as uh, 7 power x uh, and then a whole uh, power 2 Likewise, this could be written as 7 power x and then a whole power 3 by using this rule. As you can see in this next step. And here's our next step. To make our job easy, let's go ahead and make a substitution. I'm going to call this 7 power x as u. Likewise, this one u and this one u as well. So therefore, after substitution, this is going to become u plus u square plus uh, u power 3 equals to 155 and now let's go ahead and rearrange these one uh, in a descending order so u power 3 plus uh, u power 2 plus uh, u and let me move this uh, 155 on the other side equals to 0 and now since we are dealing with this uh, cubic uh, equation so we are uh, going to find uh, one solution that is going to give us a clue. How about if I put uh, u equal to 0? If we put a 0, that is not going to be equal to 0. If we try 1, 2, 3, and 4, that's not going to work. How about uh, u equals to 5? Let's go ahead and try that number. So this uh, u power 3 means 5 power 3 plus uh, this is going to become 5 power 2 plus uh, 5 minus 155 my question is is this equal to 0 and we know 5 power 3 is 125 5 square is uh, 25 and if we simplify everything on the left hand side this is going to be 0 and we have a 0 on the right hand side now we can see that this is indeed a true statement. So that means this u equals to 5 is indeed, yes, it is our solution. So thus we conclude that u equals to 5 is one of our valid solution. And since our highest degree is 3, so therefore we supposed to have at most 3 solutions. And we already figured out uh, u equals to 5 as one of our solutions. So let's go ahead and figure out uh, two other solutions. So therefore, we are going to use the synthetic uh, division. Now let me show you how we're going to perform that division. First of all, uh, our coefficients for a u power 3 is 1, u square is 1, for u is 1 as well. And now let's go ahead and perform the synthetic division. I'm going to write down all these coefficients uh, 1, 1. And then uh, this uh, negative 155 over here, I'm going to write down 1, 1, 1, and negative 155. And I'm going to write uh, this uh, 5 uh, outside uh, over here. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and bring down this uh, 1 over here. And let's uh, cross uh, multiply diagonally. So this is going to be 5 times 1 is going to give us... Uh, 5 over here let's add these two numbers 5 plus 1 is going to give us 6 let's go ahead and multiply diagonally once again 5 times 6 is going to be 30 30 plus 1 is going to give us 31 let's multiply once again diagonally so 5 times 31 is going to give us 
155. And now let's go ahead and add these two numbers and that's going to give us uh, zero. And this uh, zero is uh, our remainder. So zero remainder means that this five is indeed uh, one of our solutions. And now let's focus on these uh, numbers, 1, 6, and 31. So therefore, this uh, 31 is going to be our constant. Uh, this uh, 6 is going to be our u. And 1 is going to be with the uh, u square. So therefore, uh, this whole thing uh, could be written as uh, 1 uh, u square plus uh, 6 uh, u plus uh, 31. And I'm going to set it equal to 0 to solve uh, this uh, quadratic equation and since we are running out of space uh, on the left hand side so I just copy down our this uh, quadratic uh, equation uh, over here and now we are going to solve it before we solve we are going to find out the nature of the solution since we are only interested in the real uh, numbers now let's recall and in our case uh, our a equals to 1 b equals to 6 and uh, c equals to 31. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this expression. b in our case is 6, so this becomes 6 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c equals to 31. So this is going to give us 36 minus 124 and that is going to give us a negative 88 and we can see that this is a negative number that means less than 0. And here's our discriminant uh, table and we can see that our uh, discriminant is uh, less than zero. That means a negative uh, number. That means we have uh, no real uh, solutions. So thus we conclude that this uh, quadratic uh, equation has uh, no real uh, solutions. So that means uh, u equals to 5 is our only solution that we figured out in our previous step. And here's our final step. We know that u equals to 5 is our only solution. But we know that uh, u equals to 7 power x uh, at the very first place. So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, u by 7 power x uh, equals to 5. And now let's recall this uh, crucial rule that converts from exponential equation to the logarithmic uh, equation. And now we can see 7 power x equal to 5 is our exponential equation. So let's go ahead and convert this one into logarithmic uh, form by using uh, this uh, rule. So this means uh, this could be written as x uh, equal to log of uh, 5 with the base uh, 7. And if we use a scientific calculators, we can write uh, x is approximately equal to 0. Uh, 8 uh, 2 7 1 so that's our only real solution turns out to be log of uh, 5 with the base uh, 7 and that is approximately equal to 0 0.8271 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye